For the next 6.2 miles, the Arroyo Seco Trail journeys north into the foothills of the San Gabriel Mountains, passing under the old Route 66 Suicide Bridge and Ventura Freeway. The trail comes into Brookside Park, Pasadena Aquatic Center, and Rose Bowl. At the Brookside Golf Course, I stop by to have a breakfast sandwich and a cup of coffee. There are restrooms, power outlets, and good food here. A great place to get settled in before journeying out into the Angeles National Forest. After getting my water at the Johnson Rock water spigot, in the distance, the community of NASA and JPL stands out like a small city. The Mars Curiosity set out to answer the question, can life be supported on other planets? At the entrance gate to NASA and JPL, hikers will find the Gabrielino Trailhead. From here, it is 2.5 miles to the Gold Mesa Trail Camp. Starting from Gold Mesa Trail Camp, for the next 8.5 miles, I begin my ascent through a canyon into the San Gabriel Mountains. Starting from the Schweitzer Falls picnic area on the Gabrielino Trail, it is 4.1 miles to Red Box, where there is potable water and restrooms.
From Redbox, I continued on the Angeles Crest Highway. It is only four miles to the upper Big Tahunga Road. Once hikers arrive at Silver Moccasin Trail, it is 2.6 miles from Shortcut Saddle up to Charlton Platts Day Use Area. There is reliable water flowing down the upper Big Tahunga Canyon. From Charlton Flats on the Silver Moccasin Trail, it is only 7.7 .7 miles to the Pacific Crest Trail. Continuing on the Silver Moccasin Trail from Little Pine Campground, it is only one mile to the Shaleo Picnic Area and Visiting Center. Hikers, be advised the facilities and water are closed and shut off at the Shaleo Visiting Center. Hikers can find water from the seasonal Shaleo Creek. <clears throat> Saturday morning's weather forecast calls for rain and snow. I found shelter at Newcomb's Ranch Restaurant and made good company with a hot cup of coffee and a warm stove. Starting this morning from the Newcomb's Ranch Restaurant, it is 1.8 miles to the Pacific Crest Trail, starting at three points, and for the next 47 miles, the trail will be covered with snow. During winter in the San Gabriel Mountains, Buckhorn Campground is completely empty where it becomes a snowy solo project for hikers with a hot steamy bowl of top ramen loaded in Idaho and potatoes. Starting from the campground, it is 5.4 miles to Islip Saddle Day Use Area, where the Pacific Crest Trail begins its ascent to Mount Baden-Powell. Arriving at the Islip Saddle Day Use Area, I put on my Cthulhu K10 Micro Spikes. For the next 8.2 miles, there will be an elevation gain of 3,149 feet to the summit of Mount Baden-Powell. After leaving Little Jimmy Springs, well stocked with water, I begin my ascent into the high country of the San Gabriel Mountains. Here at Windy Gap, there is a Crystal Lake trailhead that descends three miles down to the campgrounds and hot food at Crystal Lake Cafe.
Ascending through the Mount Hawkins Ridge area, snow depth became deeper, and I was faced with issues of areas of the trail that could not be defined. That was until I found a guide that helped get me through. Whew. Looks like we got company. Those are some big, big mountain lion tracks. There's my hand. <laughs> And they're on the Pacific Crest Trail. For at least a half a mile, a mountain lion helped get me Whew. through tricky areas where the trail was not defined. I was laughingly aloud and amazed <laughs> being given accurate navigation Whew. by a predator in whiteout conditions on the Pacific Crest Trail. Whew. Well, the fog is starting to pass. As we are rising up above. During winter months in the San Gabriel Mountains, daylight hours becomes a valuable resource, especially in high elevation situations like Mount Baden Powell. I arrived at the climber's route during the darkness of sunset, and to my surprise, I found a good flat area to set up camp. We're almost near uh, the we are near the top of Mount Baden Powell. We got windy, windy conditions up here. It's beautiful. Uh, here on January 1st, year 2024, New Year's Day. The high winds carried away snow and spin drift. Along with it, snow tracks of the hikers who were here yesterday on New Year's Eve. Only two miles from the Vincent Gap parking area is Lamell Springs, usually a reliable source for water. To be sure of water resources, hikers can find updates provided through the Pacific Crest Trail website and water reports page, or the hikers' comments found on the far out Pacific Crest Trail application. Catching a ride at the trailhead of Vincent Gap into the town of Wrightwood was fairly easy. There were plenty of day hikers that offered rides. I made my way into town for a resupply and a hot meal, also to meet Mandy, who has been the host to Acorn Trail Cabins and a trail angel to the Pacific Crest Trail hikers. Ago, nobody had ever done anything for the PCT hikers, so I started putting out water oranges, snacks, and then feeding people. Someone got injured, helping them, taking them in the town, and people were just like, nowhere to stay. So I said to my husband, we need to do something and you know help these hikers. So we built these cabins. Um, and this one we built first, and uh, 
Then we started this one. It was supposed to be finished March, but it wasn't because <laughs> we had 10 feet of snow. Uh, so uh, it got finished, I think, maybe mid-April. Uh, my first hikers that came down last year in this crazy snow that we had were hiking with the codgers. I don't even know if you've seen their videos. Oh, the, co the codgers? Yeah. Yeah. So they yeah. stayed in cabin one. Um, and there were four of them. And so the codgers, they, were, stayed there. they were in that co uh, cabin, cabin one. one. I do have some like, stuff stuck in here so it doesn't get snowed on. But normally, sleeping loft. Oh, wow. out, microwave. A, sleep, a sleeping loft upstairs. Yeah, this is a double. So I've had, I've had five people sleep in this cabin. <laughs> Don't ask me how they did it, but they do. It's got a little kitchenette, table. My stay at the Acorn uh, Trail toilet. cabin was totally worth it. A hot shower, hot coffee, and the comfort of a bed. Right outside the doorway is the trail. I highly recommend the Acorn Trail cabin here at Mandy's Place in Wrightwood, California. It is a must. Uh, it gets you out of the cold, gets you a hot shower, gets you a meal, gets you ready. The Acorn Trail is right outside the door of this cabin. Be sure to bottle up at least four liters of water before heading out to trail. It is a total of 19 miles to Swarthout Canyon until the next available water resource. Hikers heading out will be ascending 1,777 feet on the Acorn Trail. If hikers are starting from downtown Wrightwood, it is three and a half miles to the Pacific Crest Trail with an elevation of 2,209 feet. I will be heading southbound on the PCT where it descends downhill for 17 miles into the Swarthout Canyon. In the distance, I can hear the sounds of train whistles coming up Cajon Pass where the Pacific Crest Trail goes through a tunnel under the I-15 freeway. I am below the snow line now where I am free to take off my K-10 Cthulhu micro spikes. The air temperature is warmer and pleasant. Not far from Swarthout Canyon Road, there is a water catch provided by volunteers, trail angels, and the Pacific Crest Trail Association. The next reliable water resource is only a few miles away, where there is a creek alongside the I-15 freeway. Also, there is reliable water resources and services at Cajon Pass, where there is a gas station and food.